guys what is going on i mean i know i've not really posted a video in like two scheduled dates and it's almost been it, it, well it has been a week hasn't it i've not posted a video in a week i'm sure they some of you are like are you okay are you dead well i mean spoiler alert i ain't dead but i mean it was a fact that i haven't been posting a video and i mean it's not necessarily because there's been a problem or anything it's mainly just because well there's there's not much to do right now. As y'all may or may not know, as of February the 28th, hunting season and trapping season, they both went out. Which means, as of right now, I'm not allowed to hunt and I'm not allowed to trap. And, um, uh, well, yeah, that's a big part of my channel. So there's not been a lot of stuff to exactly do. And, you know, I mean, I still can fish, but... To be completely honest, it's still just a little bit too cold for, you know, the fish to really start biting. Because let me tell you guys, I've been trying to fish here lately, but it just, you know, it ain't been working out at all. However, you know, the temperatures are warming up a little bit, and it should, you know, the fishing should be getting pretty good pretty quick. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. To be completely honest, we still may go fishing today, just because there's some fish sitting there looking at me. So... Yeah. I'll tell you what, guys, we're going to drive around here a little bit longer. Then I'm going to go home, get my ultralight. We're going to come back and try to catch some of those bluegill right there. Because they're just sitting there staring at me, man. They're just staring at me. got my fishing pole right here and the um, uh, only thing i don't have is bait and i'm hoping you know look around flip some rocks flip some sticks and hopefully get some worms we're just going to come over here to rocks just like this flip them over and see if we can't find any worms now under this rock you know we're not very lucky they wasn't nothing there but we're just going to keep flipping them like that one like this one like that one and then here's this really big one hopefully it'll pay off it didn't okay maybe this log right here no it didn't either okay we may be in a pickle guys we are in a pickle i was hoping at least one rock had something under it but so far like nothing guys just nothing and it doesn't even have to be like a worm it could be a little cricket or just just anything but now you do gotta be careful because one day last year i came out here and there's this big old long bright red beetle and i was like oh I'll pick him up and use him for bait. I grabbed him. He turned around, bit me. I about died. Not really, but it did hurt for a few weeks. That's a lie, too. It hurt for a few minutes. But still, when you look at my fishing rig right here, I mean, it's nothing special. It's just a little bitty rod, and all I've got hooked onto the end of it is just a simple hook. And with that simple hook, there's no bait attached, which is sort of why I'm frantically looking under rocks for bait. Because if I can't find bait, I'm not going to have bait. And if I don't have bait gonna be pretty hard to catch fish well this isn't good <gasps> i got one i found one i found two. Oh my goodness now if i can just get him out of the ground without him well that was bad he broke off but that's okay because there's another one right here and he's not going anywhere okay so there's two and a half worms i know guys i broke one off but still i hear oh yes yes we got another worm we got another one oh yeah that's a good one too that's a pretty good sized worm not really, but it's pretty good compared to what we did get. We may have just found... Oh, yes. We may have just found ourselves a little honey hole right here. Right here in this field. Hey, this might be the place to be. There we go. That should be plenty of bait right here. And just so we know, if we ever need any more bait, we can come right over here to these few rocks, and, you know, they should be loaded. I don't know why, but these rocks up here on the pond bank, like, they weren't holding anything. I, w I go right down there the hill a little bit, and boom, get all kinds of them. Now we don't have to worry about not having bait. At least we got something now. Oh, yeah. Chum the waltzes. I'm just going to dump the worms out there, get a little bitty piece of worm. Barely even hook it on this little weightless hook right here. 
Just like that right there, guys. Nothing special at all, but I'm going to tell you I'm going to catch a fish on my first cast. You watch me. You watch me, guys. That's a promise. Here we go. Cast number one, unedited. We'll see how long it takes to catch one. Non-edited. We're just waiting to see how long is it going to take. It may take a long time. There he is. See? Told you. There we go, son. Unedited. Right there. Y'all saw it. I caught a fish. Now, he is a bluegill, but I didn't promise he was going to be anything big. Just a little bitty bluegill. Cool thing is, we still got my worm. We still got my bait. There's no bait change needed. And that's the smallest piece of worm I had. Oh, there's another one. Okay, he took it. He took it that time. We're going to put a little bit bigger piece on there. Yeah, we're going the full worm. The only reason I'm going full worm on this one is simply because this guy was trying to get away and I want to use him before he like jumps off the four-wheeler and I'll never find him again. So that's the reason I'm using such a big piece right now. Not that I need him. It's just that if I don't use him, I'm going to lose him. Use it or you lose it. That's this worm's motto, I guess. I'm not really sure at this point. But that's what we got. Big old juicy thing. He's sitting there wiggling. These fish are about to have a field day with this guy. I'm talking field day. And I got one. This is, oh man, he took the bait. But since we did have such a big worm on there, even though he took some of the bait, he didn't take all of it. So there's still bait to be caught. Just like that. Got him. He's a pretty good one too. Oh, he's a straight bluegill. Now in this pond, we got bluegill, green sunfish. We got everything. But this here, this is a little bluegill. We've even got pumpkin seed in there, which is really nice to have sometimes. Not a big one, but a bluegill he is. Not big enough to eat, but definitely big enough to have fun. That's all. That's what I'm talking about. Nice little bluegill. See you, bub. Haha. <laughs> And here we go, just like I was saying, we do have some green sunfish in the pond. Here is one of those green sunfish. You can tell he's a green sunfish for a few reasons, and I'm going to show you those reasons. Number one, he's sort of a green color. The main reason I look at it is he's got a big bass mouth. Like, he's not got the normal bluegill mouth. He's got, like, a big one to where you can actually lip him. Another sign that he is a green sunfish is little, like, chartreuse uh, tips on his fins back there. You can see he's got chartreuse, chartreuse, and then even a little bit of chartreuse, like, you know, up here. And then another way to identify him is i guess the little green like stripes on his face i'm not exactly sure if that's one of the main signs but main sign for me is if he's got a big mouth that right there is what i call a green sunfish and the bad thing about green sunfish is that yeah they are fun to catch but that size right there they don't get much bigger than that and that's one of the biggest problems why people don't like like they're really good bait fish for like bass and stuff but if you want to catch them for fun fishing they don't get much bigger than that and they eat about as much as a full-grown bluegill. So that's why they're undesirable to most people, is that they compete directly with small bass and bluegill, and they don't get much bigger than that, which makes them not very awesome to catch. And they reproduce, like, super fast, which means, you know, they can stunt the pond's growth and stuff. There's a decent one. I mean, he's not, like, 10 pounds or anything, but I'd say he'd go, he'd go a solid 4 pounds right here. Definitely one of the biggest fish I've ever caught in my life, guys. He's got to go about four or five, maybe even six pounds. But, you know, he's pushing six pounds. I'd say more like around, you know, four or five and a half, something like that. But, yeah, guys, nevertheless, a good quality smallmouth channel cat. I'll tell you what, guys. We've caught enough bluegill right here. Let me go put an actual wacky worm on this rod, and then we're going to go hit up a bass pond. That way, you know, we have a possibility to get an actual four and a half, five pounder. So before I throw my first cast over here in the pond, I just want to let y'all know, y'all saw this shirt before in, a, in a, like a video, I don't know, like two weeks ago maybe, and I didn't say anything about it. I was sort of giving y'all a sneak peek, but here it is. It's been a long time in the making. It is the SS Predator t-shirt here. Now we started selling the Predator pop sockets first. They're gone. Then we came out with the Predator lanyards and then three right here with the predator t-shirts now the situation with these t-shirts are just like the hoodies there's only a limited number of each you know size there's not an infinite number of these like they are like the bucky shirts or the regular ssog shirt or the legends never die with these there's actually a limited number but, but because i understand that there is a limited number what i'm actually going to do is i'm going to throw in a predator bracelet right here just another way to you know get a predator bracelet if you didn't get one in the pop socket but yeah guys y'all already know where to get it at kennelgrade1.com shop you get the predator 
t-shirt and the bracelet. Go pick them up while supplies last, because I don't see them staying in stock very long at all. But anyways, let's get over here. We're using a little wacky worm. That's just a little, um, uh, what do you call it? Bio spun 4.5 inch plasma tail right there. Just wacky rig. But anyways, here we go. The sun's going down. Should be perfect time to, you know, get a few bass or something right here. Here we go. Just gonna throw it around the edges. Let it sink a little bit. Jerk it around. Oh, thought I already had one, but I guess not that early. There he is. That's a bass. Not a big one, but a bass he is. Oh, I don't know what kind of species is. Believe it or not, there's actually smallmouth bass, largemouth bass, and spotted bass in this little pond. Now, I will say none of them's natural. All three species were stocked, but believe it or not, I have caught all three species in this pond. Looks like here we just got a little largemouth, though. Not a big one either, but there are some big ones in here. They're just, you know, they don't bite ever but i mean hey i'm happy with that just something real small nothing special but a bass you know that's a bass <laughs> can't deny that he is a bass today's favorite squad winner goes to sawyer smith right there and tyler j vlogs if you want to get you know the favorite squad shout out just go down in the comment section and leave a positive and encouraging comment and next video it may just be you but anyways guys if you want to watch my last video you can watch it right here if you want to subscribe click right here if you go to this website boy go buy some merch support the channel and you know these orange shirts that i'm actually wearing right now they are limited and with the predator t-shirts you also get this bracelet right here but anyways Anyways, guys, go over, do that, and I'm, uh, well, yeah, I'll see you guys Saturday.